Welcome back, everybody. Well, before Peter was Pan, he was just an orphan who didn't like grown-ups. The five-time Tony Award-winning show Peter and the Starcatcher is the hilarious and imaginative prequel to Peter Pan. We think it's so good that you'll get hooked. Ooh, good get one. It? I like that. <laughs> All right, here now with a preview are a couple of the actors in the production. We've got Andrew Carlisle on the outside, who plays Ted, and Sean Malott, who plays Prentice. Welcome to the Morning Blend, you guys. Hey, guys. Hey. Thanks, thanks for being you. here. Oh, thanks for having us. Okay, so Great fill us in here. on this whole prequel deal. If people don't understand, you know, a lot about Peter Pan or what this story is about, mm -hmm. what do you? What's your kind of synopsis of of this show? Well, yeah, I mean, this show is basically the story about how um, all of these characters who are probably familiar to most people, Peter mm -hmm. Pan, Captain Hook, Tinkerbell, um, where they all come from, how they all got to be these these characters we all know and love in the book. That is so cool. I love when a, a production like this takes us back so we can kind of understand the, the foundation or the origins of mm -hmm. things. One of the things that I've always been fascinated in is is, is Peter Pan can fly, as we, we all know. Right. Do we kind of get an understanding of how it was that he came to fly or, or why he flies or how he can? We do get that understanding. Uh, are we allowed to give spoilers on this show? Is that what we're allowed to do? <laughs> uh, our there. producers are like, kids no. watching, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you would tell anyone, I no, guess. No, sure, yeah, you, you do learn how he flies. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's related to uh, uh, something called star stuff mm -hmm. from, the, from okay. the book. And it's, I guess, it's referred to as pixie dust in like later adaptations of the story, mm -hmm. right? That's so cool. Yeah. So the yeah. magic part of it is revealed, sort of like. Absolutely. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. I like that. So who do you, who are you guys in the show? So we play um, we two orphans. Yeah. Okay. Who become the Lost Boys? Among the youngest characters in the show. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And us with Peter are are like he said, the Lost Boys. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this really kind of takes us back, as Molly said, when he just kind of was an orphan who didn't really like grown-ups. Do we figure out why he doesn't like grown-ups? Oh, yeah. Yes. We figure that out right away. Right mm -hmm. away. Yeah. And is this all for kids, too? Is this for more for adults? Yeah. Who's the show for? Well, we think the show is for everybody. Yeah. I mean, um, it was written with a lot of connections to, like, the traditional British pantomime style, right? Okay. So, it, I mean, it is really a family experience. Um, it's a family-friendly show, not necessarily children's theater. Okay. And with a number of, like, double entendres and things like that, it's pretty clear why, right? Okay. Um, but we think that it's eight and up. Anybody can come in and have a good time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this I have to know, because we've actually talked on our show before about why Peter Pan historically has been played by a woman. In your mm -hmm. show, is Peter Pan played by a woman or by a guy? He is played by a guy. It's a guy. Show, yes. okay. Although okay. there are other parts um, where we, we have one role, uh, a female role played by a man. Okay. Um, which, okay. which is a, a, a big crowd pleaser, actually. Oh, I <laughs> yeah, bet. It is. All What's right. your favorite thing that you've heard from people after they've seen the show? What kind of feedback have you heard that kind of lifts you up? Ooh. That's a great question. Well, I mean, we have, we have some feedback even during the show. Mm -hmm. I think... Because people yes. are laughing. We, yes. we might share a favorite. Do you have, They're, like, oohs and ahs? Well, we do. The, and the oohs and ahs are better than the laughs, to be honest. But we had a, <laughs> we had a children's show a few weeks back. It was a, it was a school performance. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a little girl give us an ew all the way from the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was Red, pretty good. Quiet you know if you make show, a kid yeah. go ew, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Right? Well, she was Definitely. listening. She was engaged. Yeah. She had an opinion for better or for worse. Right. Yeah, that's great. Are there special effects in, in the show that we can see? Or? Yeah. yeah, there there are a bunch. Um, most of them are are pretty simple. You know, you're allowed to see the strings metaphorically and mm -hmm. literally in a couple cases. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it, but yeah, they're a lot of fun. Yeah. We've also heard that um, only 12 actors or something like 12 play more than 100 characters in this show. Talk about multitasking. I mean, <laughs> I don't know the total number of characters we have. Actors are not exactly known for their math skills, but. Um, <laughs> Um, I would say, yeah. <laughs> I would say we all play, or most of us play at least five different characters throughout yeah. the show, constantly taking off costume pieces and putting on different ones. Um, but that's a big part of the fun of watching and also performing it. Right. That's cool. Okay. So you play Prentice. Yes. Okay. So. As Prentice, then, as Prentice, okay. we want to know: Is it true that you're the leader of the Lost Boys? Well, there's so many different qualities that go into leadership. Um, fortitude, resilience, um, a strong constitution. 
But in a word, yes, yes, I am the leader. Yes. You're the leader. The leader. The yes. leader of the pack. All right, Ted. Quite. Is there yep. a particular kind of food you like? Well, I'll have to tell you my second favorite because if I tell you my favorite, I tend to have sort of a reaction because uh, <laughs> sticky pudding. Oh God, sticky pudding. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I love my, that. It's my first time on television and I've ruined it. I'm sorry. <laughs> on, telly. Okay. <laughs> on the telly. On the telly. On the telly. On the telly. You guys are great. This is great. I think it's a perfect show for everybody to head out and see. Learn a little bit more about Peter before he was pan, right? Yeah. Here's the information for the Quadrachi powerhouse that's going on. Peter and the star catcher at the Milwaukee Rep now through May 24th. Online, you can get tickets at milwaukeerep.com. And you guys were nice enough to bring us some tickets to give away today. So call us right now. Caller number seven and eight will both win a pair at 414-799-4444. Good luck on that. Thanks, you guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. Great, great to, to meet you guys. Fun. That giveaway was fantastic, mm -hmm. too. Thank you so much for bringing the tickets.